Hey guys, hope you're doing well. The intel I'm gonna share with you is probably pretty close to being about 100% accurate, okay? This information is gonna be spot on. It's gonna paint a good, clear picture of where we stand. We have a fair amount of new people, so let's let's uh, go from the beginning. We'll do a little bit of from the beginning and then dive deeper into where we're at. Um, here's what we have. So my name's Jeff. I'm Dinar Investor in the Dinar community. And we focus heavily on facts. We bring very little opinion into the picture. That way we're walking more of a straight line and you don't hear us throwing around that the rate's gonna change anytime soon or, or any of that. We, we don't bring soon and any time into this. We look at facts and we use facts to walk us into a key time frame. So here's where we're at. Um, okay, so let's, from the beginning of this year, Iraq put out their 2019 budget articles around the beginning of this year, okay? Hold on, a, okay. So from the beginning of this year, Iraq put out 2019 budget articles. The 2019 budget articles had a lot of good information in it. It had things in it like the, you guys have seen articles throughout this year talking about the government program, okay? And reconstruction, the government program is, that's everything that the citizens have coming, okay? That's, that's money from Article 140. Now, Article 140 is only compensation money for the Kurds, okay? Not for everybody. Um, it's money from the HCL. Per the Constitution, the Iraq citizens own the oil. You guys saw that in an article yesterday I shared with you. The citizens own the oil, just like Alaska or Kuwait, and they're supposed to get oil checks. But again, those are post our items, and they, they, can't, they cannot amend those items and add them to the Constitution or start issuing checks to the citizens on them and, and implement them until the rates change. Those items are waiting on the rate change, okay? So now these, my point to you is these items were, were, were stated and documented in articles from the beginning of the year that it's, that it's within the 19 budget. What does that mean? That means that Iraq has had plans to change the rate during the year of 2019, okay? So hold on guys, I, I gotta put my stupid disclaimer out there. This whole video is my opinion and should not be used for financial advice. There we go. Okay, so what I'm trying to show you is the articles from the beginning of the year that, that went into detail mentioning and discussing the 19 budget told us that it had items in it that are post RI items, the government program, the reconstruction, all that. Everything that gives the citizens an improved better life is inside the 19 budget suggesting to us that the rate was gonna change this year in 19 because they allocated money for it inside the 19 budget. Then, as, as we went through the first six months of this year, kind of from January, through the end of June. All of the news articles I showed you now, let, let me back up one moment. Guys, Iraq's been setting the stage for the rate change this entire year, okay? Now, the, the rate change, I'm sorry, setting the stage has to happen has to happen from two layers. They have to set the stage for the country for the rate change, and then they have to set the stage for the citizens for the rate change, okay? So, with that said, what we saw, they were setting the stage for the country during the first six months, okay? January through the end of June, they went heavily into trade, reconstruction, all of that is setting the stage for the country of Iraq for after the rate change, okay? Then, there's only one more layer for setting the stage. That's putting everything in place that's for the citizens, guys. Now, if you go back roughly a week or two ago, okay, since, actually, let me back up. Since the beginning of July, you've now seen tons of articles going into great detail about Article 140 and about the hydrocarbon law, the oil and gas law, HCL, okay? All of that is post-rate change and cannot be implemented, cannot be added to the Constitution or implemented until the very end when they're ready to change the rate. That's why you're seeing it now. So roughly two weeks ago, uh, who was it, the uh, the Kurds come to Baghdad roughly in the last week or two. They heavily discuss the oil and gas law and Article 140. Again, Article 140 is only for the Kurds. The hydrocarbon law, oil and gas law, is for everybody because per the Constitution, the citizens own the oil and they're all supposed to get money and gas checks, okay? So the Kurds came here to discuss that, but also the Kurds are required to give X amount of barrels back to Baghdad for profit sharing because the Kurds are the breadwinners in the region, okay? So it's kind of give and take. Kurds give oil, Baghdad gives money back to Kurdistan, okay? Give and take. So, so they come and then they, they heavily discuss this, but, but what I'm trying to stress to you guys 
is for the Kurds to come and to discuss Article 140 as well as the oil and gas law ACL, but that all can only take place at the end, guys, because they can't amend it and add it constitution or even implement it till after the rate has changed. So they have to save those items till the very end, and it all started at the beginning of July. Okay, that's what I want to stress to you. So now we are they've already set the stage through the end of June, Iraq set the stage for the rate change pertaining to the main country of Iraq. Now you're seeing them set the stage for the citizens, okay? At the citizen level, that's exactly what's happening, guys. This is very key news. Now, when you look at this, guys, you have to look at accounting periods, okay? Notice how, as we walk into June 10-1, Q4, notice how they have, they've amended their 2019 budget. The budget amendment, okay, guys, that's for Q4, 10-1. Also, the budget amendment has a major salary reduction. Part of that salary reduction is they've removed a lot of government positions. Okay, all the proxy positions are gone. Okay, and with that said, the number one thing we're waiting for is a completed seated government because the CBI has already said they're not going to delete the zeros until they have political stability. Okay, so we are waiting. The number one thing that I've always stressed since the beginning of the year that we are waiting on is for them to have a completed formed government, okay? That's the political stability. That also means the proxies have to be out. The other thing it means that they're going after former corrupt political figures right now and they have to finish that corruption, okay? So so that's what's, so that's part of 10-1-Q4, uh, okay, is the ending of the proxies. Um, the amended 2019 budget was amended for, for starting at, on 10-1-Q4, okay? And they have a brand new central bank governor coming to start on 10-1 Q4. They also have a brand new um, software stock trading platform that gets implemented on 10-1 by NASDAQ, okay, that they're going to put in place for Iraq's ISX stock exchange. Okay, guys, so here's, here's what I'm trying to tell you. So I, I told you at the beginning of this video that I strongly felt this information I was going to share with you is 100% accurate, and I really feel what I just shared is 100% accurate because what I shared is 100% fact-based. Here's the part that's my opinion, okay? What we're looking at is I just rattled off a bunch of stuff to you pointing to 10-1, okay? And, and Iraq has, we're, you know we're waiting for the formation of the completed seated government, okay? They've told us now they're, they're, they're going to try and finish the formation of the government. They'll most likely finish the formation of the government sometime probably during the second half of September. Okay, so my opinion is this. I strongly feel that they are going to change the rate at the end of September, probably the weekend of September 21st, 22nd right there, because I feel that they have to walk into 10-1 Q4 with a brand new rate in hand, guys, for all those items. Okay, that's the part that's my opinion, but I strongly believe the factual side of this video that I shared with you is 100% accurate, guys. That's what all the facts are very clearly showing right now. Hope you guys are all doing well and have a wonderful day. God bless. Take care.